Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and I'm really excited because today is my 100th video here on YouTube. So I wanted to do something special. So today's video is going to be a tutorial using all of my favorite products that I have obtained or found out about since or used the most since starting my channel. So this is going to be a full face of favorites. And also, um, this week I'm going to be filming a video using uh, all three of my boxy charms because I started using boxy charm or ordering it and I haven't done a video on any of the products I've used a few of the products in other videos but I just haven't done like a dedicated video because I got sick and you guys know the drill so therefore I just haven't done like a just a dedicated video to that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a video using as many boxycharm products as I can from all three boxes and then I will do a giveaway for my 100th video in that video um, of any products from my birch not my birch boxes my boxycharm that I have um, that I either already have or that I'm not going to use, um, I will do a giveaway and uh, I will select randomly a one winner and they will win the items that, you know, I'm giving away. So uh, I will talk more about that and how to enter and all that in the next video. But I did want to do just a thank you for, you know, sticking around for watching all 100 videos, hopefully, and just for being really supportive and sweet. So um, let's get started with today's tutorial. So I'm going to be using um, all of my favorites, as I said. So my favorite eyeshadow primer by far since I started my channel so far has been the MAC white paint stick. Um, these come in all different shades on Mac's website, but I think I might be switching, um, back to the NYX Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil only because Mac is sold in China, which means it is not cruelty free, like a fully cruelty free brand. And I'm not claiming to be a fully cruelty free channel. I've been going back and forth with that really. Um, but I am almost cruelty free and this is one of the products that is preventing me from doing so. So, um, it's not the only one, but it's one of them. And so I think I might go back to the milk pencil once I'm out of this cause I already bought this and I'm going to use it, um, till it's done. So, but I just don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. So I already uh, primed my face, You well, prepped my face using the Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Serum. This is my favorite serum that I've used since starting my channel. And this is my favorite moisturizer. You guys know I use this before pretty much every makeup look. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. And I have the shade Pearl Glow. It comes in three different shades. Nude Glow and I think like Topaz Glow or Deep Glow. I forget what it, the third one is called. It's... um. Pretty much anyone can use any of the three because I really don't see like a significant difference in it doesn't give like a tint to the skin or anything it's just like a subtle glow so those have been my favorite um, to prep my skin before makeup I wouldn't use it like before I go to bed but yes so I'm gonna go in with two primers today these have been my two favorites this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer Primer, primer, and uh, I got the Sephora sample of this, um, and I really like it. I'm going to be purchasing the full size one when I run out of this, but well, maybe sooner than when I run out of this because I don't want them to run out of it either. Um, before I run out of this, I have a cut on my forehead. I don't know how I got it. Call me Harry Potter at the moment. It looks like a little jagged lightning bolt thing like like right there not quite like a lightning bolt but you know what I mean I have no idea I woke up this morning with it I have three dogs so who knows which one of them got me so I'm gonna go in with my second favorite primer that I like to use just in my t-zone as well and that is the milk makeup blur primer blur stick yeah blur stick primer and I just feel like this really seals the deal in terms of 
you know, filling in your pores and I don't know. I just feel like it really grabs onto my makeup. Some people have had a hard time blending it out, saying it tugs at their skin. I haven't had that issue, but everyone's skin is different. So, um, let's see. So one of my favorite methods, you guys know, I should have grabbed it beforehand, um, for doing my eyeshadow is using tape. So I'm going to go in with my scotch tape. I like to press it on the back of my hand and pull it up. It removes some of the stickiness and makes it less irritating to my face. Angle it up further a little bit. Okay. Get my hair out of the way a little bit. My hair is freshly washed. So, um, today I'm going to go in with my favorite eyeshadow palette since I started my channel that I've gotten, and that is the, without a doubt, the Manny MUA Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag Palette. I love this palette. It's so stunning. I'm sure you all have seen it. The brush is not in there at the moment. This is what I'm going to be using on my eyes today. So, I'm going to go in first with the shade Cake Face. Oh, and this is my favorite mirror to use when I'm doing my makeup for you guys. I'm just going to drop something per usual. That's my favorite thing to do in my videos. And then I'm going to pat out my eyeshadow primer just to make sure one more time that it's not um, creasing. So I'm going in with the shade Cake Face. This is the white shade in the palette, and I'm packing it on the inner corner and the first, like, good part of my eyelid into my crease and up on my brow bone. I'm bringing it across the brow bone. I use the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil um, in the shade Auburn for my brows, and... I'm not, as you guys know, a brow expert or a brow person, but in terms of the few products that I've used for brows since I started my channel, like new ones, I would say this would be my favorite. So, so how are you guys doing? Do you guys have a good weekend? We got a lot done. Um... AC went out on one of my cars, so that was fixed. And the initial shop that we took it to said they couldn't fix it. I don't know if that's because it's a hybrid or what, but they said they didn't have the equipment. So therefore, hi Jeffrey. Therefore, um, I had to take it to a dealership. So that was awesome. And I'm going to go in with Kiki, which is the shade that kind of matches my shirt, this like lighter blue. Um, so I went, took it to Coons Ford and they went ahead and they fixed it. And there's like a warranty on the work. And they said, you know, you have to drive it about a thousand miles and then let them know if the AC is still running cold. If not, bring it back. So hopefully the issue is fixed just in time for fall and winter to start, right? This is a Morphe E, I don't know if it's a 17 or a 47. It's um, rubbing off. Although I will say I have used a lot of Morphe brushes on my channel because I bought at one point the Jaclyn Hill Favorites collection and it was good. So I liked the majority of the brushes from there. I don't have a code or anything, but I genuinely like the brushes that came in my set. So I'm just doing the crease with that. It's interesting how over white it looks a little bit different than when I just put it um, by itself or like over top of a concealer base. I'm going to go in with the same eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow palette. Yes, that too. The same eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into Fishy 
which is like the very, very blue shade. Is that even a good description? And I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner. I'm going to place it first and then blend it out a little bit. I love this palette. I've said this a thousand times in many different videos, but you guys, like, if I could recommend any palette out of all the palettes I've bought, not just this year, but ever, dare I say ever, I think I do, it is the most versatile palette I have ever bought. Like, you have all your neutrals, two shimmers, a black, a white, um, colorful mattes, I mean, colors that blend together to create other colors perfectly. It's just stunning. Like, if I wanted green right now, I could easily just take the yellow and make part of the blue turn green. And I know you could do that with any palette, obviously, color theory, but um, I feel like this palette, the eyeshadows just blend better together than any other palette I've used. That's just my opinion. So I think it's amazing, which is crazy because originally, I'm not going to lie, I didn't want the palette. Like originally I was not planning on buying it. I know, that's nuts. I'm going with my M441 by Morphe and I'm going into Pageant Queen, which is the purple. But originally, I was really, really, really excited about the Thirsty Palette. And I do love the Thirsty Palette. It's a good palette, too. Um, but it's it's also not Jeffrey's first palette. You know what I mean? This palette, especially for being someone's first palette, but even just with that aside, this palette is just awesome. And I love it. And I use it off camera all the time. I think I've said it before. I almost have to stop myself from using this. Um, I saw a few people do looks like this on Instagram, like kind of this color story, but in different ways <clears throat> and not necessarily with the Manny palette. Um, I think one girl on YouTube did a similar look, um, Angela Bright, but it was, it was different than what I'm going to be doing. But just the color theme was similar, um, and some of the shadow placement, but I always like to give credit where credit is due. So I was inspired by her slightly, and then some people on YouTube, she's very talented, Angela Bright, yes. If it's different than that, I'll link it below, but I believe it's Angela Bright. She did a cut crease. And I'm going to be adding some special details, I believe, that I haven't done before. So I have to wait and see what that's going to be. And I love the color that the blue and the purple create together. I'm going to go back in with my smaller blending brush. And I'm going to go back into Fishy. Because I don't want to lose all of that. It's so much fun to watch channels like I watch this girl Destiny but her channel is Damier I've mentioned her before um she's so talented like so talented I love watching Rocio um I love watching Atlee I just ordered some merch from her that's the first time I've ever ordered merch from anybody no that's not true Jeffree Star but other than him um, so yeah, I just think it's nice to tell you guys what channels I'm watching, who inspires me, and I think it's cool for us to all inspire each other. So now I'm just laying, layering a little bit more of the purple. So those have been some of my favorite, um, beauty influencers to watch. Um, oh, and Katie Michaelis, still one of the most talented people on YouTube in my opinion. I don't know 
how she doesn't have more subscribers than she does. She is just so talented. So, yes. Now this is a Wet n Wild crease brush. It is um, stained <laughs> because I used a red eyeshadow on it. So I'm not putting on any additional product or I'm not putting any product on it. I'm just using it to kind of blend out the edges a little bit. And see where I need to add some purple there. I'm going to go in with Fishy one more time. Make sure there's blue and purple. I think these shades together are so pretty. But yeah, let me know down below what some of your favorites are. It doesn't just have to be beauty. It can be like you guys are one of my favorites. Um, my dogs, of course, my hubby. My friends, my family. I'm trying to think if there's any movies that have been my favorite. Um, no, not really. I feel like I've watched a lot of bad movies lately. Um, although I still want to go see The Meg. I haven't seen that yet. The shark movie with Jason Statham. I don't know why. I love shark movies. I told you guys before. I don't know why because they're like one of my biggest fears. I'm going back into the sugar pill brush and I'm going back into Cake Face, which is the white shade. And I'm just making sure that we didn't lose that intensity. It's like I've been blending my life away. Like... This might be the longest I've blended on this channel. And it's really not with, I mean, it just kind of happened. I was going to say not with a purpose, but there is a purpose. Um, but yeah, I love, for some reason, I just love the shade that Fishy and um, Pageant Queen create together. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I think we're blended enough at the moment. So, let's set this aside. My favorite sponge since I started my channel is the Sonia Kashuk sponge. Let me wring out some of that water. I just washed it. Um, it is stained. I think it's stained pink, honestly, because of my hairline. Like because of the magenta hair color. Like I think when I go around my face, it must pick up some of the color sometimes. So my Fenty Beauty foundation is definitely my favorite foundation that I've used on my channel. Mixed with though, my Armani Power Fabric foundation. I just, something about that mixture, it, whenever I want something that's gonna look good and last all day, that is my go-to. It would help if I took away the tape and removed the fallout before I, um, yeah, put on my foundation and lock in all that fallout. Oh, you guys. Beauty 360 wipes, some new wipes that are my favorite that I found since I started my channel. I would say some of these favorites are definitely um, favorites that I already had. And then some of them are from trying new stuff out because I'm trying stuff out for my channel. I'm going to wipe this fallout away and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, we're back. I'm just going to finish putting that foundation my face. Sometimes I'll go directly in with the beauty blender and sometimes I will warm it up on my fingers. It's pretty cold in here today. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because it's cooler outside. Got my hair 
stuck on my face. And then I'll take the beauty blender and I'll just run it in my hand and make the tip dirty. That's all right. Um, but yeah, I will dunk it in the foundation so that it's not 100% clean when it touches my face because, I mean, it's clean because I washed it. But then I put foundation on it before touching it to my face because if I don't, then when I'm patting it in, I feel like it's just picking the foundation right back up. Just sharpen that up. I have a lot of fun videos coming up that I have filmed <clears throat> that will be probably coming up after this one because I specifically wanted this look to be the look that I did because I just like it a lot. I've worn it off camera a few times and I just wanted it to be my 100th video look. So, so yes. And it might be a little bit lengthy because I'm talking about all my favorite products. So I'm going in with my Naked Skin Urban Decay Color Corrector in Pink. This has been one of my favorite concealers for under the eyes to brighten. And it is a color corrector, but it is light enough for my skin tone that I can use it as a concealer. And then I'm just going to take some of the Master Conceal, which I recently discovered by Maybelline, which is another non-cruelty free brand. We'll talk about that in another video because I have some thoughts, but anyhow. So... It is one of my favorite concealers that I found, especially to cut the crease. It has just made it really easy for me, um, who never used to want to do cut creases because I was not scared, nervous, like, um, or not good at it. Just not, not even scared to try, just like not good at it when I did try. <laughs> um, and then it's gotten better whenever I've tried to do one. I've gotten better at it using that particular concealer. So I like the consistency, but um, I don't know. That's, I haven't found one exactly like it yet that I like, but I'm looking just to see what else is out there. So I did a full face of Too Faced Peach makeup. Where did I put my... Where did I put my setting powder? Ah, there it is. It's right underneath my setting spray. So I did a full face of peach from Too Faced, the collection, and I fell in love with some of the products that unfortunately are expensive, but one of them was the peach setting powder, the peach perfect setting powder. Um, I do like the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, but I, ca I can't decide which one I like better. I go back and forth. Sometimes I like the Maybelline Fit Me. I love the smell of this. It's like, it smells so good. Tastes good when you're talking and it flies through the air. Um, but it just lasts all day. Um, but I go back and forth between loving the Maybelline one more and loving this one more. I definitely love the price of Maybelline one more. So I just don't know. But I decided to use this one today. Because it's going to go hand in hand with my favorite new bronzer. I used to use only, pretty much only, the uh, Physician's Formula um, Butter Bronzer. That was my favorite. But then... I got this to test on my channel and it looks like this so it's really cute smells amazing and I love it I just think it's a very glowy kind of radiant glowy without being sparkly 
These are some of my favorites. The Juvia's Place tricolored brushes. I love them. I don't really contour a whole lot. Occasionally I do, but I like to just warm up my face. And I feel like this bronzer does it really well. Um, I don't know how well it would work on deeper skin tones, though. Because it's... I mean, it's buildable, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty light. So, I don't... I really want to try the Chocolate Gold bronzer, but I don't feel like that one is suited for my skin tone. I think it's a little too deep and a little bit too orangey. I don't know. See, so you can see my little Harry Potter scar that has appeared. Um, I have used two blushes the most, but I would say the NYX Ombre blushes would definitely have to take the cake on this one because they're just awesome. This is Sweet Spring. Looks like this. They're very pigmented right off the bat. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place blush brush, although my new Wet n Wild like professional blush brush has become my favorite blush brush, but I still love the Juvia's Place brushes as a whole, like as a set. Okay. And then my fit. Ah, oh, mother. Mm -mm. I wanted to use this brush again from Marshalls and for my bronzer, and I forgot. Again, so I'm going in with my favorite um, rose water facial toner from Trader Joe's. I absolutely love this stuff. You guys know that to meld the powders into my skin. It's like a toner spray. I also use it after I wash my face, before I go to bed. My hair is so like fly away -y. I don't know what it's what that term is. Frizzy. Frizzy, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, because it's been raining outside and I just don't want to do anything. So my favorite highlighter is the Aurora Glow Kit. Aurora Glow Kit. Uh, one of them fell out on camera last week or something. But I love um, Luna and Eclipse, which is this one and this one. Those are my two favorite shades in the palette. Um... I don't know. I just love it. And I love this highlighter brush because I feel like it really blends the highlighter into the skin. Um, I know it looks very intense on camera, but it just doesn't, in person, it doesn't leave like a stripe on your face. Ooh, that's intense. I just, oh, I love this highlighter so much. Let's highlight that Harry Potter um, lightning bolt scratch I got. Okay, so I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use. Actually, I'm gonna use this more dense blush brush. Real quick. This one, the Real Techniques one. This set was such a good value. Um, I got. Whoa, I got the whole set from Walgreens for like. Hmm. I think it was like $14.99. Came with like eyeshadow brushes, this brush, this gigantic brush. Real Techniques has some really good brushes. I like to just mix my blush a little bit better in with my highlighter. Okay. I've never done that before, but um, can't say never. But almost never. Let me grab something that I want to use today on camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to show you guys on camera what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to, so I'm going to do one on each eye and show you guys what I'm doing, and then I'm going to do a couple more of them probably off camera, but I'm going in with the NYX Vivid Brights Liner. So this is Vivid Halo, this is Vivid Violet, and Vivid Sapphire. I don't know if I'm going to use purple or blue yet because it is a mixture, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little flowers going around, and that idea I got from juliana marie here on youtube so she did a video but it was like more of a 
um, like a burgundy and gold look. And then she did little daisies. And I thought it was so cute that I wanted to do some of my own daisy-ish flowers, but in different colors. So I'm going to do one on each eye. I'm going to need my mirror. <clears throat> Wish me luck. I think I'm going to do blue because it turned out a little bit more purple and I think it'll show up a little bit more. So these are the next vivid brights. This one is a little bit more dry than others. So I'm going to start by doing one and then I'm going to decide. So I just created a line. Okay. This is don't breathe, don't talk. And then make that line an X. Thicken it up just a little bit. And that was a mistake, but we live, we learn. This is why I say I don't know how many I'm gonna do. <laughs> and then I'm making like an extra little thing. So it looks like a star at the moment. And I've just been playing around with these only today. And then I'm taking the yellow and I'm making a dot in the center. So you have a little flower. And she did it all the way around. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to do one, but you'll see when I come back because I'm going to figure it out. I'll be right back. Okay. And then I think I'm just going to do one for now on either side. I might do another look or do more going all the way around, but I am taking the purple in vivid violet and creating a line like that. I got these because I just thought it would be fun to practice doing a little bit of artwork with them. Seeing as how makeup has been, like glam makeup has been as far as it's gone for me. I mean, I've done like a few, you know, Halloween looks here and there. That's about it. So I'm going to take the shade Deep End from Urban Decay. And yeah, so I just have a little flower on either side right at the brow bone. I think that's cute. And I will definitely do more. So I'm going in with Deep End because it's going to make the lower lash line a little bit more blue than purple, I think. We'll see. And Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencils are definitely some of my favorites. Although, if I was rich or had a ton of money to spend, I would probably invest in all of the Marc Jacobs um, highlighters because they're amazing. And maybe one day I will own them. <laughs> Who knows? So I'm going in with a combination of Fishy and Pageant Queen. And I'm just running that along the lower lash line. The Urban Decay ones are amazing. And I have, I do have a set of those. So, and I like that they make them in all different shades. So I'm kind of connecting what we got going on on the upper lash line on the lower lash line like so i think it's really pretty this is definitely different than what i've done off camera lately because it's more i don't know artsy fartsy with the flowers i'm gonna go in with beat which is this shimmery light shade i like putting this in my inner corner yes friend Sarah from Sarah Smiles Loves Makeup here on YouTube 
turned me on to doing this. Saw her do it and I was like, Whoa. so intense. I love it. So my favorite mascara since I started my channel, and I've tried quite a few, has definitely been the Revlon Volumazing. I've had it the least amount of time, but I instantly knew that it was going to be the love of my mascara life because it's amazing. And yes, I have a video coming out, guys, believe it or not, where I wear lashes. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy. I never thought I would do it, but I did it and I filmed it. Didn't turn out terrible. I'm much better at putting lashes on other people than on myself. Um, but I'm learning. I don't think I'll ever become a lash wearer like permanently. But I think it would definitely be fun and a definite fun thing to do for Halloween, special occasions, or just when I want that extra, you know, that extra oomph. So, for lip color, I've mainly been using Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks. But I want to show you a new lip gloss that I got um, fairly recently. i uh, take this off. And I like wearing it by itself even. So I'll we'll grab that and I'll be right back. So Urban Decay used to have lip glosses that they sold um, a few years back and then they discontinued them and they were very minty smelling and now they've re-released, am I focused? Hello, hello. Okay, um, now they've re-released them as Hi-Fi Shine. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I have liner from there on my hand. Um, so this is in the color SPL. I don't think I know what SPL means. If anybody does, let me know down below. But it's like a shimmery pink. And it smells like peppermint heaven. And it's so glossy. Now I will say, I'm wearing it by itself because it is sticky. Uh, not, not sticky. It's actually very smooth and comfortable. But if you put it on top of a liquid lipstick, it is sticky. And it gives me that, that pull when I wear it on top of a liquid lipstick. So I think I like it better by itself. And it actually makes your lips feel minty as well. So am I out of focus, you guys? I feel like it is. Hold on, let me, let me try something really quick. I don't want to put my hand in front of the camera. Okay, I feel like that is much better. So I'm going to put on my um, Trader Joe's Rose Water Toner one more time just to melt any powders into the skin. Sometimes I will take my the butt of my beauty blender and just kind of pat that in just to ensure that. And then I like to take my setting spray, which is the my favorite is the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go. I have not found... Mm -hmm. It does not taste good. Other than the Astralis Setting Spray that I showed you guys, I believe in my last video that my mom brought me back from Australia. Um, it, it is my favorite by far. And yeah, and it's $5 at Walmart. So can't beat that price. So that is a full favorite, a full face of my favorites. Thank you guys so much for your support. Like I said at the beginning of the video, thank you for loving me. I love you guys too. Thank you for being here with me and continuing to watch my videos. And hopefully here's to 100 more. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye guys.